I've got a bit of a repair today that should be kind of fun. Um, this is the wife's Canon uh, 40D and the 50mm 1.4 lens that she likes the most. The problem we've got here is the autofocus ring is kind of rough or kind of tight. Um, and if you do try to focus, well, it's doing okay now, but what will happen is it will get stuck down um, at the extreme ends here. And, oh, there we go. See, now it's stuck. And that's because um, when you put any pressure on the barrel here, it deforms the focus ring on the inside or the track for it just due to some crappy design on Canon's part. This is an issue that, that really plagues these lenses a ton. A lot of people have this. Um, and it really doesn't take much. You don't have to drop it. You don't have to shock it. You just have to put it in a bag or, you know, just day-to-day -day use. And any pressure on this ring over time will deform the innards. And this is the problem you get. So, um, you can either pay $170 and send this to Canon to fix it, or you can try to do it yourself. It's really not that bad. I wouldn't say um, taking this apart really looks any worse than an iPhone or anything like that. If you've got the tools and the patience, um, and I found a few guides which I'll link down in the description, uh, you should be fine to fix this. And then I'd probably put in like a permanent hood on the camera. Um, any hood really that extends past the barrel but does not attach to it should protect this from happening in the future. So we'll do that once we get it fixed. Um, so I'll crack that open, I'll show you what breaks in here, and it's actually pretty easy to fix it once you extract the part.
there's our lens disassembled. It actually didn't come apart too badly. It came apart pretty easily, I thought. Um, there's all the screws. It's important to keep these organized so you don't lose anything. And then here is the part that actually causes all the trouble. Um, what happens is this part here gets deformed. And you can see how this bulges up here. Um, and then the tracks are no longer symmetrical, so it binds up. Um, and the design flaw is that there's just that much plastic or that much material holding that in at the end. So you can see how that could easily get deformed and screwed up um, over time. So it's kind of crappy design on their part, but what can you do? Um, and you can see here, this should lay nice and flat, but uh, it obviously has got a little bit of rock to it. So what we're going to do, um, I got this piece of tempered glass out of a scanner. And I'm just going to gently push this down um, and massage these tracks back into shape so that they're once again symmetrical. Once that's done, um, we'll put it back together and it should operate much, much smoother than it is now.
So here we are with the uh, lens attached back to the camera. I don't think the disassembly and the repair was actually that bad. Um, just about as bad as maybe an iPhone or something like that. As long as you don't attack it like an animal um, and have a decent set of tools, it's definitely something you could do yourself. And is worth saving the 170 flat repair fee um, that Canon would charge. You can see here that it is focusing again, nice and quick. Um, and the manual ring feels a lot smoother than it was before. There's less wonky resistance to it. Um, so definitely an improvement and should work well here on here on out. Um, now to stop this from happening, what we're going to do is keep it stored at infinite focus where the inner barrel is as far in as it can go. Um, and then I actually ordered one of the EF71 Mark II um, lens hoods that attaches to this outer barrel's bayonet mount and not the threaded. If we just attached a lens hood to the threaded bit, that's going to make things worse because we're still pushing on the inner barrel. So we're going with one with the bayonet mount that goes on the outer barrel here. And so that should keep this well protected um, so we don't have to deal with this stupid flaw uh, going forward. So, awesome. Hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good one.